Hey guys, we are back with more Zelda randomizer. This time we're doing the turmoil randomization, which is what, Ethan? Uh, it's like a second quest overworld, first quest underworld, and items all shuffled. Oh look, who is that? It's, it's, it's Blue Trogdor. Yeah, we got Trogdor. Butt nugget. But, but. <laughs> well, Z, because you're cool. Butts. It's with a Z because you're cool. Mm -hmm. Cool cats with a Z. Yeah, I love the sky blue truck door, by the way. And I love That's actually, nuggets. Yeah, that is pretty cool. We should have done like dungeon green, like dark green. Ooh, here we go with no weapon. Jeez. Yeah, have fun. I can't even. Oh. I can't even do anything. Level 5, too. You can, so that. So that. Just run through and see if you get an item. How would I get an item? I don't know. I, just, I gotta get one from. This oh man, be... I might be hosed. I don't even know. You don't even know where the item's gonna be. You just have know. to kind of you just have to kind of walk. Around. But I I can't. I don't have a way of getting money or anything. How, how are you supposed to go about this? You I just, just have, realize that you have to find your sword or a candle. You have, to, you have to get your sword or the candle. Jeez. Okay. I'm gonna reset these guys and go back. You just have to get an item. This is like some intense gaming here, especially when you get hosed right away. I was all ready to bust up some jokes. Now I gotta like focus completely with Mr. Butt Nuggets. Don't worry, at least their damage and health are going to be the same, I think. Thanks for the map that I don't need. Why'd he yell thief? Because he knew I was going to steal it ahead of time. What's, He's a future what's, monster. What's the map do? Nothing. Really? It must reveal the... Uh, use beef as fun? I did. It must reveal something when I get there. Like the forest, maybe? Oh. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Oh, those are different enemies. No, those are the same. This is all the same. They're supposed to be randomized. Maybe it's it overworld? Work. Yeah. I thought it was it's supposed second to be overworld yeah, with first quest. Yeah, it's supposed to be second overworld. Maybe it didn't work. Maybe it's really similar. I've never played the second quest. It might be really, really similar. Dude, these guys are crazy. And they do like two hearts damage. <sighs> these randomizations are brutal. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. The first... <sighs> Having the, at least a sword right away from the old man is, is kind of nice. Yeah, last one might have been better, other than the fact that the dungeons are impossible. Yeah, we're actually going to get normal dungeons, but I don't know if I can beat them without a weapon. The dungeon shape might be randomized, I'm not sure I didn't look. Oh, that would be okay. That would be kind of cool. That's what made our dungeons impossible last time, the shape was randomized. Okay. So that's kind of not okay. Wow, yeah, I split it. I split it. Yeah, boy. Alright, we're gonna go here. I always check this spot first. Oh, if I can even get in. Crap, 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 crap. There's a lot of enemies here. Is this different? Yeah, there's way more enemies here. No. This is a second quest, then. No, this is the same, like, couple. Gosh! <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna get in there if that's, like, I should have walked out and came back. No, because that's, like, second quest overworld. Right there. No, this, that's the same overworld. Look Google and see what the difference between the overworlds are. If they're, They might be the same. I've actually never done that. You All you have to do is type in Zelda at the start and it puts you in the second quest. Really? Mm-hmm. What was in here? Oh yeah, what was that dude? That What's the there? difference between first and second quest in the first Zelda? Oh, I should go across that bridge. I'm gonna do that. Hopefully I can make it. Because there's a door here. Please be a sword. Please be a sword. Please be a sword. Dang. There's no way for me to get money to get the candle either. I need to find the sword. This is going to be... We'll give it like five or ten minutes. Five minutes. And then we'll start a different quest. Because if you can't find the sword, you can't do anything. Second quest includes increased difficulty, rearranged enemies, locations, and items. Yeah, so the map's the same. A second quest involves rearranging dungeons to provide tougher puzzles on enemies. But that doesn't matter because we're doing first quest on. Okay. To provide tougher puzzles than enemies, tougher enemies can appear earlier in the game or more numerous than before. Things in the overworld may also be moved to different locations, such as pieces of heart shops or even the dungeons themselves. Oh no. I'm in the lost woods. Why does that look like a like a flag to me? Looks like the Switzerland one? Yeah. Is that right? <laughs> Think so or the Smash Bros thing, Smash Bros orb. Yeah, the orb. Is that where they got it from? Yeah. The lost, the lost wasn't Zelda one. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah, no. Nah. This is how you nod when you're trying to laugh. This is a little... I'm gonna try to... Mm. I don't know about this one, Ethan. I want to know what's the best one to actually play for entertainment purposes. Well, here. Let's do the first one, the top left. It sounded really boring, but it seems doable and entertaining. Alright, guys. We are back, or maybe we are on the same episode. But we changed the randomization. Do you want to talk about the randomization? Ethan we, uh, we didn't, like, shut... We... It should be doable now. Yeah. We were having a hard time getting a weapon, and we don't want to just sit there and... Grind. Yeah. Dying 15,000 times. Like, actually 15,000 times. Yeah. That was pretty bad. So... Well, we said it's a mixed quest, so there's... So, like, some rooms will have, like, super hard enemies and super hard, like, super high amounts, and other rooms will just be, like, normal game. So we're gonna just be a classic name. Farts. Farts. With a Z? No. We're gonna be classy this time. <laughs> cool. We're gonna be classy about these farts. Yeah. Really classy. Okay. Now we're good to go. We got the wood sword. It's weird how the dragon holds it. Why? Because his head's like on the bottom, right? How does that even work? Or is his head on the top? Wait, is that even the dragon? I think we've been... Oh yeah, he is. Okay. There, now he's got an arm there. But it looks weird from the top. It looks like he's holding it with his like fin on his back. He's got a different colored arm. Yeah, because I made him green. I mean, it look, no, it looks like a fin on his back. Like a wing. Okay. So this should be doable, and it's... I don't even know what, what Ethan did. Tell you the truth, but Neither it should be doable. I. I have no idea what I did. All we know is the bosses are for sure randomized, and the items they drop, and, and the their caves. HP. The caves are randomized, too. And the caves, and every item. And there's some other stuff. So is this different? Who is this guy? The heck? Is this different? That mummy wanted a hug, and I'm not gonna give it to him. No, this is the same. The overworld's gonna stay the same. We've no, no, the cave. It. Yeah, because there's nothing in there. Oh, I know why you can't shuffle the overworld. Because then it would be impossible to enter another map because a brick would block it off or a tree would block it off. Yeah, it might be too hard. It would just be... Well, you... it's too... Well, no, why is like... not... Oh, crap. Then that would be shuffled and then you would come onto the side where, like... You would come onto the side, like, right there. Oh, and maybe. And then you would be stuck and it would bug out. Yeah, that could be. Because you see how there's, like, like... That's the only way you can get in here. And if you came into it from another angle, you'd fall in the ocean or be stuck in rock. So this should be a dungeon. Oh, no, nah. sorry, I said... Hi, Billy, Billy Mays here. Nice. <laughs> Hi, Billy Mays here. Can I sell you something? Hi, Very Billy Mays here. I'd like to sell you this wonderful new upgraded shield. Right. It can block tomatoes. It can block... <laughs> no, no, have you ever seen Billy Mays in jail? He didn't go to jail, did he? No, no, Bill... Oh, it's like it a was a video, spoof? and I was like, uh... Hello, I'd like to trade. If you give me 15 packs of cigarettes, I'll sell you this zip gun. You can shoot inmates with it. That's right. You can shoot inmates with it. <laughs> it's like, isn't that a rubber band gun? <laughs> no, it's a zip gun. It shoots... It's like a homemade look shotgun. It's like that shoots like pellets. Like it, it was really pellets? stupid. And he was like trying to sell cocaine and stuff in prison. But it's like a spoof of Billy Mays, right? It's not yeah. like really uh, Yeah. No, no, Billy Mays went to prison and tried to sell cocaine. I don't know. I don't know his backstory. Billy Mays went to prison and made an uh, infomercial trying to sell cocaine. Could have. I don't know his backstory. <laughs> I need, I need to show you that right now. Well, after this. Now. After this. Because uh, let me just focus on... First entering into a dungeon before you, oh shoot, before you start showing me crazy things and getting all nuts. Farts can only take so much. Farts. That's right, okay. It's not even Billy Mays in jail, it's ShamWow guy in jail. Wait, so you're wrong. <laughs> Same person. Billy Mays did the ShamWow. Oh, did he? Yeah. It's the ShamWow! Well, I know you what the can... ShamWow is. Yeah. <laughs> but if you want to do the spoof anyways, go for it. Hmm? Go for it. If you want right to do the infomercial. No, I mean, no, not, not right now. Not right now. Oh. Not what we're playing. But afterwards, show me. Is it right for us to full screen this? This is it. If you remember, it's different, uh... Size. Different size from back in the day. It, yeah, because the pixels just look weird stretched out. Dang. Hi, that, Billy Mays. Was that Billy Mays again? Yeah. I'm gonna knife him up next time I see him. I said like it's a block. helpful tip, too. That's not exactly a helpful tip. Well, he's selling me something. Billy Mays sold things, right? Yeah. Like things. So perfect. He sold things such as objects. I have not got one thing from anyone that yet. That Brock almost hit you. Life was like, wait, mine? Wait, just pick one I of those up. I don't know what you're gonna get. No, I can't. I don't have enough money. It's 10 rupees. Oh, so it gives you a random thing. Is this gonna be random too? I think it's the left, far left guy. What do you mean? With the cave. 
Oh, he hurts me instantly. Cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool, man. Hey, Billy Mays here. <laughs> Billy Mays in the Hizdy, selling me things. Farts only has seven coins, though, so. We ain't buying anything. We ain't gonna buy nothing, Billy. Mm mm. Wait, you know what makes this hard is I actually have to try to remember things. Billy Mays. Whereas I could just Google it, but now I actually have to remember things. Billy Mays was in South Park. When? Well, he was a. He was maybe in it as a cartoon character. I don't think he was a guest speaker or anything. After learning that Billy Mays' soul is not at rest, Cartman vows to help from season 13, episode 8. Oh, okay. Crap. This better not be a maze. I don't think it is. Okay, good, good, good. Is there improved stuff in this game? No, I'm not sure. Like, with it being a randomizer? I'm not sure. Because it feels like... Oh, no. Oh, no, I just gotta get in here. Feels a little bit more controllable. Maybe it's Trugdor. Dang it, dude, it's another one of these stupid mummies. I don't want to give you a hug. There's an online Billy Mays soundboard. It's not even a joke. <laughs> There's pretty much everything these days. <laughs> it's an online... If you can think about it, there is it. If you can think about it, there's a soundboard for it. Dude. Is this brutal? I hate running around aimlessly in games, and that's what we're doing right now. But that's the point. Kind of. Kind of. But I, I can mean... Tr I can turn off Shuffle Caves. Well, then the caves are in the... I can turn off Shuffle Caves and turn on Shuffle Dungeons. Like items and rooms. How about that? Because then we know where the dungeons are. Alright, guys. Here we go again for, like, the 30th time. What is this? The sixth time? I, I, I don't even know. I'm hoping this works this time. What do we got going on, Ethan? I don't even remember. Basically all the same except the fact that the caves are hoisting if we're over won't happen anymore. Okay. Oh. Oh, Tinkaroo? What do I go back? Oh, Tinkaroo just sounds like a, like a Indian name. <laughs> oh, Tinkaroo. No, really? Stinkaroo. Sounds like an Australian name. <laughs> Stinkero. It's supposed to be the old Stinkaroo. But, we don't have enough characters. So if you go in there, it should just be a normal cave. Okay. Perfect. This is what we need. Okay. So, explain what you all did on the randomization this time. You'll see. What do you mean you'll see? I, I also don't remember. Okay. But we fixed something so that we can actually go in the dungeons this time. Well, the dungeon should be in the normal dungeon spots, and shops should be normal sp shop spots. Okay. Basically, like, that means you don't have to find a bomb spot to get into the dungeon. Are the enemies all randomized? Uh, yeah. Enemies are all completely randomized. They should be here, at least. It is mummy. Oh, I didn't change the tips to be useful. Oh, that's okay. What do they say? That means, like, you get the Billy Mays your tips and stuff. Oh, those are no, funny. Yeah. Should I, ch should I change it really quick? If you want to. Yeah, let's do that really you quick. Know, I just got hooked up with a sword. I'm just kidding. Stinkeroo again? Might as well, because we didn't we played for two seconds with him. Yeah. Stinkeroo got his 15 seconds of fame. Yeah. That's all you get, Stinkeroo, in the modern world. You get 15 seconds of fame. Alright, so I'm excited about this because the old Stinkeroo is going to lead us to victory. With Billy Mays at his side. I wish. Well, technically. But not really at his side, just kind of there, hanging out. Well, well, well. Hello there. That's not really that helpful. That's just a normal greeting, and kind of like a, a cocky one at that. Well, well, well. Like one of those... Look what the cat dragged in. I always love that for My me. god, my cat killed a dragon! <laughs> dragon man. <laughs> he dragged in the dragon? The dragon. Yeah. I, I... You know, uh, a hotel for dragons? The dragon. <laughs> uh, uh. I like that, I like that. I'll see myself out now. I like that one. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it and use it again. The dragon in? Nah. Just the dragon. Just the dragon. Yeah. The dragon in is weird. Okay, so this should be a dungeon. If I can even get into it. Okay. Dungeon. Yes. Dungeon. Ooh. Randomized pallets, randomized floors, randomized rooms. Okay. So the whole shape of this dungeon is randomized and the rooms are randomized. Oh, here's the boss. Yeah. So that's cool. As you can see, it says in a standard dungeon. That's pretty funny. 
<laughs> right? And that's gonna be the same every time. That's what Wait, so what happens if I beat the boss? And then you can just keep on going through the dungeon looking for items. Wait, nice. that door's open now. Yep. Hold on, I wanna see if it's a boss still, or if it just got re-randomized. Nope, it's still the boss. Okay. I can just kill him from up here. Really? Yeah, as you're long not, as... You're not supposed to be able to do that, right? No, you can. But he's in a different location. Oh, here's the track bars I need. Sweet. So that's what you need for the end of the game? Yeah. I need the, the three of these to get... Or no. I don't know how many it is. Is it six? I thought oh, it was eight. Well, we want to go back in there because there's an item in there I can get. Let me see. Yeah, you need eight. One, two... Is it eight? Yeah, it could be eight. The, well, it said there's eight dungeons. And then the ninth dungeon. So I'm assuming you get no, one. No, but three... I don't know. I well, now I can't remember how the old Zelda works, but the first one you get the three trifee or the Super Nintendo one. Dongo Dongo dwells in the forest. Dodongo. Dongo 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 Dongo. Dodongo. Dongo 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 Dongo. Dongo, Dongo. He dwells. But no, you get the pendants after that. Oh, I don't think you get them in this game because normally you start with getting the pendants so that yeah. you can get the Master Sword. Is there another door in here? I'm just gonna bypass him for now. Uh, let's just uh, skip this boss completely. All right. This is like such a weird dungeon, can isn't he, it? Uh, can another boss appear in here? Uh, no. Okay. It doesn't say what dungeon dungeon you're in, though. Yeah, you turn those off. Oh, there's a raft. I want that. <laughs> there's just a raft cool. laying on the floor. Nice. Now I can do those little platform areas. Sweet. Mm-hmm. ESC. Okay. Ooh, heart. Nice. Yeah, key. It's huge. I don't know if I want to use it in here, because I already got an item, but I will. The enemies drop items? Or no? Oh, uh, randomized drop rates. But not random. They just drop normal items. Like rupees and bombs. Oh, really? Yeah. Like it's the same bombs. normal drop tables, it's just that they, their drop rates are randomized between 30 and 70% chance to drop something. Mm, okay. So okay. Like bombs can become super rare now. Okay, okay. Oh, map. Just lay in there on the floor, map. See, as see, as you can tell, like the the room shapes are weird. Compass. Crap. Wait. Oh. So now you know what's in here. I can't get through. Doesn't matter. There's nothing up there. Oh, there's nothing up there. Yeah, no. the compass. Ah. Uh, Doesn't the compass show chests? Does it? Or does or no, it just what, show? It, it would only show. I don't know if it does in, in in the old Zelda. It might just show the. Uh... Well, you have the raft. I know. I couldn't go through. I tried. You have to select the raft. No, it's a passive item. Sure about that, buddy? Yep. Okay. Otherwise, it would show up on B right when I got it. Let's see? Oh, yeah. So you can just never get there. Right? So do you have to kill these guys now to get out? We're like locked in here now. My sword doesn't work. Why? I'm hoping, I don't know. It just stopped working. That shucks. So I'm gonna die here, hopefully. It's gonna bring my sword back. No, my sword just doesn't work now. Huh. Try leaving the dungeon and walking back in? Or just using that of the dungeon? Nope, sword just doesn't work at all. Huh. That sucks. Really? That just turns around on its own randomly? Wait, I didn't take damage from it. That might just disable your, uh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Now my sword doesn't work. I wonder if those are, like, bugged. Because it's supposed to just disable for a little bit. Yep. That's what it is. Those are bugged. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna keep on running through until I find an item so I can save and exit. So this is what it's like to play Zelda without a sword. Impossible. Wow, we got the same boss. You can walk right through his, his back. I can. Up there and then no, off damage. the door. Yeah. Oof, we got whiz robes. Whiz robes? Yeah, that's what they're called. Whiz robed. What? I got whiz robed. Yeah. Whiz robed, like I said. Whiz robed? Robe. R-O-B-E. <laughs>